What's up everybody, it's your boy T-Ray Retro So today I'm going to be showing you how to set up Rock Nix On your Retro Pocket 5 and Retro Pocket Mini I will be using the 5 to set it up But it's the same method with the Mini So the only thing you need, of course, is Retro Pocket 5 and Mini And a SD card, I'm using a 512 GB SD card and you need some files and I will put the link inside the description on where you can get the files and I'll also put the process inside the description of what to do and all that stuff so let's go ahead and get to it um, first thing you need to do is download the Rocknix file um, this is the um, file right here I'll put the link to the file inside the description and you need to download an application called Win32 Disk Imager and just install it. I know I'm sick of y'all can see this. So right here it says image file. So you just look for the Rocknets image file and take your SD card and put it inside the computer. and something will pop up and you'll be able to access it on the desktop so it got my rockness file right here alrighty had to uninstall and install my USB back so you go to device and it should say E Make sure it matches with your virtual pocket memory card. You got device E. So you just go to right, and that's how you got to do just to install it. Uh, wait for the process to install. So now all you do just take your SD card insert inside your retro pocket 5 or mini and restart it so that when you restart it put your finger on the volume button finna show you and hold it and you should see some letters pop up just keep on holding it this is how you boot into Rocknix and here you go let go when you see these you might see this option so you just go down to boots if you can see it and if you're using a retro pocket mini you just click on mini I'm using a 5 so I'm just going to click on 5 and this is how you get Rocknix on your retro pocket 5 and mini Just got to wait for all this to load. So it failed. Not to worry. Did that with me before. Just do it again. And here we go. Just go to Retro Pocket 5 if you're using a 5. And this time it's going to boot you in. Gotta config all this stuff. So do not be alarmed if it boosts you out the first time. And here we go. As you can see, it's Rock Nick. So I had to delete 
everything on here and reformat it because when I updated my Retro Pocket 5, Rock Nix wasn't working no more. Well, it was working, but I couldn't access my files for my game on my Android side. So, everything on Rock Nix was working fine. So, and also, so I saw some people having problems with putting files on your card. So, you have to, uh, what I would do, I just, I got me one of these and put another SD card up in here. Put it up in here. Matter of fact, I'm just finished. Alright, so this is my one terabyte memory card I use for my Odin 2. I just plug it up in here. And I go to media. And here we go, my R Retro Pocket 4 Pro. That's my one terabyte memory card. Just come here. And whatever I want to copy over, I just copy it over. So just going to do the all my Game Boy Color library. So just copy. Go back to storage. And you have to do it on the internal storage, not the external. And go to rooms. And you just put out the what a Game Boy Game Boy Color. And you just paste it here and you wait. Gonna take a long time, depends on how big your files is. And yes, that's how you copy your files over. So um with the other things you just need to set up all these in your tools section, like need their XS2, set up your controls. You gotta do that with all of them, your PlayStation 3 and you set up your settings and all that stuff and zoom you and how to get out of rock nicks and all that stuff and i'll put the link to the guide on how to do all this inside my description also and that is all y'all have a good day